Hey folks, Justin Hoffman from Justin Hoffman Outdoors. It's September 20th today, it's about 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and uh, we're fishing my favorite stretch of the river again, and we're tossing frogs. Now, yes, it is fall, temperature is a bit colder. Uh, last week we had uh, probably the coldest cold front we've had this year so far, dropping down to zero almost. Um, since then, temperatures have been about 20, 21 degrees over the last four days. Um, water temperature is about 65, 66 degrees, which has risen from this morning, it was about 61. And these fish are getting pretty active on frogs. It's um, something I always do in the fall time. I don't do it late into the fall, but early into the fall, especially when the fish are just moving up, uh, the slop is a lot less dense, so it's easier to work a frog, it's easier for them to bust through, this, through the slop for it. Um, and they actually use some of this cover because it attracts heat, so that's why they actually are in here. Yes, it is shallow water and it's not something to be afraid of come fall time. I've done a lot of my fishing in the fall time in a foot, two feet, three feet of water. Um, fish are definitely there, they're seeking shelter still, and a frog's a great way to find them. Uh, if you don't get hits on frogs, but the actual fish are showing themselves, it's also a great search lure. So I can throw in a, a creature bait, a flipping jig, uh, to where that fish busted through the slop or the pads, and hopefully get them that way. Anyways, we're going to fish this little stretch here. We'll see what we can do, um, and see if we can catch them on tape. Another thing I like to do if I find a really nice edge to the slop is to throw a Texas rig creature bait in there. Uh, i got a pack of cron here. And just pitching it up to the edge of the slop, because a lot of these fish will get active. They don't want to hit a frog. They'll often come out and, uh, and grab a plastic bait. And that was a pike. So much for that. Uh, we'll tie that later. We'll go back to the frog.
not bad. So again, as you can see, that fish really, really wanted that live target frog. Sucked it right in. And you can see exactly where it came from, right on the edge of that slop, right after I missed that pike fish. So, nothing big, chunky. Putting on the feed bag for fall, but, you know, fun all the same. Now he came from, uh, it's a little bit of mex vegetation down on the bottom, a little bit of sand. Foot, foot and a half of water, and he hit right on the edge actually, just in, it's actually blown in grass from um, outboard boaters that have blown in against the shoreline. And not a bad start. Now probably, if I didn't break off on that pike, I probably would have hit a craw that fish, but hey, more fun to catch them on the frog for sure. fish there. Just a little guy it seemed. But as you can see there I just really set the hook way prematurely there. Gotta let these fish take the frog under completely. Now, he certainly didn't hit it very hard so he certainly didn't suck it in but 